So what's going on, what's going on, what's going on guys? It's your boy Tay and today it is a what's sold video on eBay. That's right, it's a what's sold video on eBay where we go over all my eBay orders and we talk about exactly what got sold. And if you're new to the channel, my name is Dante. Welcome to the channel, it's Prison of Profit. I like to talk about how to make money. That's pretty much it, talking about how to make money any way I can. And I also like to talk about rambling because I ramble a lot, so get used to that. Um, yeah, so if you don't mind, Hearing people talk about money and ramble a little bit as well, make sure you hit that subscribe button for your boy. Hit that like button if you can, or that dislike button if you want to. Doesn't even matter to me. We're not biased on this channel. But without further ado, like I said, this is what's sold video. Let's go ahead and go over all the items that got sold because that's what we're here for. Okay, so <laughs> yeah, I'm tripping already. So right now I'm shipping out 29 orders today. I hit my goal, guys, of 15 grand in total sales for the 90 day mark period. That is my goal. I want to hit like 15 grand in sales Just because I think that's just the number I hit if you're averaging like five grand in sales a month and then with my profit margins I just think that's pretty good and then also don't forget I'm an Amazon seller and Macari seller as well So I want to kind of like balance it all out Let's talk about exactly what got sold all these items sold over like a three-day period I didn't ship anything out yesterday. So I had to wait till today but anyways, let's talk about these items they got sold. The first item is going to be sold is going to be this, these Fiskars four pack of scissors. I got a bunch of scissors on a fill a bag day at Steel of a Deal overstock store in Marietta. Uh, their fill a bag day was like $10. I got a bunch of Trapper Keepers, not Trapper Keepers, uh, for five star notebooks and a bunch of scissors and like glue and just randomness. So this one sold for $10.50, a four pack. That's how I lot of mine up. So if you want a four pack of scissors, go find my eBay store. Oh uh, yeah, sold for $10.50, free shipping for the buyer. It's probably only gonna cost me like around, I'm assuming four, five dollars to get this item shipped. It's gonna be under a pound. When it's all said and done, it's profit. We're gonna hopefully four dollars. So for a fill a bag day item, you can't beat that. Next item we're gonna have sold is gonna be this Money World Black Art. I guess it's a do it yourself, you draw on this toy, I assume. Uh, the item sold for $16. This is a fill a bag day item. I've had this item for a while, guys. Probably roughly six months or so. Um, it barely made it because usually six months, I usually go in and clean out my stuff and start all over. So it barely made it, guys. <laughs> so it sold for $16 and free shipping for the buyer. Probably going to profit like around, we're going to just say $8 on the low end when it's all said and done. The next item is going to be this Solar Power Ultrasonic Animal Repeller, which sold for $15.00. 55 cents the buyer did pay three dollars and 99 cents to get this item shipped to him It's gonna cost a little bit more than that to get it shipped to him But I usually sometimes when I do charge shipping I'm trying to charge like half of the shipping cost So right now I can just throw this in a priority mail flat rate envelope It's gonna cost me roughly around seven dollars and some change since mail did go up, but whatever So I should profit just roughly we're gonna say Probably like around eight seven dollars on this item when it's all said and done Then we're gonna have this two pack of Whirlpool Two packs of Whirlpool Ice Makers, it sold for $35. Free shipping for the buyer. Flat rate envelope, throw it in there. Gonna profit well over like around $20 on this item. Got this item on a $5 day at Ben Time. Got this item literally to the right, the day before, <laughs> the day before, whatever. When, when this got listed, it sold like the next week. Put it that way. <laughs> no, I'm tripping. I wasn't even gonna do a what's sold video to be honest. I wasn't even gonna do a what's sold video, but I just went ahead and decided to go ahead and do a what's sold video. There's 30 items. Why not tell you about the 30 items that I got sold? Uh, yeah, and then also there's an item in here that I wanted to do the what's sold for real because I'm petty. Is this puzzle right here? <laughs> this puzzle sold for forty dollars. I got this item for three dollars and ninety nine cents, maybe two dollars and ninety nine cents at Goodwill. Yes, I still go to Goodwill. I, I still go to Goodwill. If you watch my videos, sometimes when I leave the bin stores, I'll stop and pop up at the Goodwill. There's one nearby. So yeah, found this at Goodwill for three dollars. Profits are out there at Goodwill still. Forty dollars sale price. Can't beat that. And I think comps are only like twenty five dollars. And I just put forty dollars because I charge free shipping. So um, anyways. So when it's all said and done, I'm gonna profit well over what thirty dollars on this item, maybe twenty eight. So be proud of me. I also go to Goodwill and WalMarts and everywhere else. <laughs> um, then the next item we're gonna have sold is gonna be this two pack of new chapter activated food complex pills. They sold for fourteen dollars and eleven cents. Got these items on a fill a bag day. The buyer did pay five dollars and ten cents to get this item shipped out to him. We're gonna hope our profit maybe seven dollars on this item after I get it shipped out. Next item that we're gonna have sold is gonna be this water. Pick 
Flosser, this water pick flosser, I got it on a $3 day at Carolina Bin Store. It sold for $20 and the buyer did pay $5.99 to get this item shipped to him. Can't beat that, $3 into it. The Speedify Wi-Fi router, which I thought was going for a little bit more, but I mean, it's open and it's used. So the price dropped drastically when it was used. So I got it for $5, like I said, or I don't know if I said that or not, but I purchased it for $5 at Carolina Bend Store as well. Sold for $22.50. The buyer did pay $11.10 to get this item shipped to him. $5 into it, I'll profit probably like around $12, $13 on this item when it's all said and done. I mean, you can't, you can't beat that to be honest. Um, Like I said, I thought this item would have been a little bit more expensive, but it was, definitely open box so yeah I couldn't char charge it for the new price because the new price I probably would have got like 50 bucks for it I think maybe a little more next item we're gonna have is gonna be this detox got this item on a fab day it sold for $21.11 and the buyer did pay $4.99 to get this item shipped to him or $4.90 to get this item shipped to him gonna profit well over $15 on this item when it's all said and done probably a little bit more I love fab day items I mean that's why I kind of love going to them because you fill up a bag and you get so many items and those items are so random at their price points that you're definitely going to make your money back and then some i mean they're, they're just like some of the best profitable days out there and i haven't been to a fab day in a while and i think about it I probably, it's probably been about two weeks yeah because i've been just so busy guys uh trying to catch up in life when i catch up in life that's when i'll go back to a fab day but until then i'm not the next item that we're gonna have is gonna be these two packs of water filters. One sold for $10.22, the other sold for $10.50. Don't know why, uh, but yeah. The buyer is paying $5.99 to ship on both of these items. Two separate buyers are buying two separate two packs. Just pick them up together just so we can save time. And we know those are always fill a bag day items. I put, get a bunch of those in a fill a bag day. Mostly I get those on a $6 fill a bag day at that. So $6 fill a bag days has paid for themselves times 17 already probably way more than that so when it's all said and done it's gonna probably profit like around five dollars a piece on the actually a little bit more because they're paying shipping so it's probably like around seven eight dollars on that item when it's all said and done they are gonna have these u.s kitchen pancake plates i do believe i purchased these on a dollar day a long time ago i'm talking about a long time ago we're hitting that, that around that five six month mark um maybe a little bit longer than that but yeah these items have been sitting for a while i have two of them one sold today for 22 dollars and 22 cents and the buyer did pay $12.50 to get this item shipped. I think that's why it's sitting so long because I have them paying shipping, to be honest. If I was paying shipping, I bet you this item would've sold a long time ago. Just my logic may not be right, but I think I am. Next time we're gonna have sold is gonna be these Universal DuPont Carbon Warp Water Filters. Item sold for $14.44. This item was found on a fill of bag day as well. Gonna profit well over Seven, eight dollars on this item is very, very light, under a pound. I think it only cost me like around four dollars and seventy something cents to get this item shipped out to him. So, you know, good profits for a fill bag day item. Then we're gonna have a two pack of markers that sold for six dollars and forty cents, and we know these markers were found on a fill bag day. Uh, yeah, a bunch of these markers was found on fill bag day, and I'm kind of shocked that they sold. To be honest, fairly quickly. Yeah, so a two pack sold for six dollars and forty cents, and it's my last two pack, and I'm out of markers, so that's kind of sad. I'm gonna profit probably what three four dollars on that item so that's three four dollars i can go turn into some more profits so all little profits add up to me i don't mind my little profits it is worth my time taking those little profits on certain days because yeah i'm not i'm not, not about to explain all that right now <laughs> the next item we're gonna have sold is gonna be this two pack of lazy susans i got this item on a three dollar day with three dollars a piece so this is six dollars total the buyer paid $48 and then they're paying $11.40 to get this item shipped to them. Can't beat that. I mean, $3, well, $6 into this item and it's gonna probably turn into after shipping. A little bit heavy, probably gonna cost them like, I'm not sure, but I'm confident I'm gonna make well over $30 on this item. Another item that we have is gonna be this Total War. Got this item on a $5 day at Ben Town. This item sold for $17 and the buyer did pay $2.99 to get it shipped. Bought it because the sales comps, everybody was I mean, they were selling frequently. Every day it was getting sold. So that was the main reason I paid $5 to just pretty much get like a $5 return after I ship it out and everything. But again, I mean, sales comps, they were selling every single day. So why wouldn't I make that quick $5? All right, that we're gonna have sold. I got this on $5 day at bedtime as well. And all these recent items that I'm going through right now literally sold in a day. Cause I had my listing party yesterday listed all these items and pretty much they're all selling so everything i've been going through for the last three or four items have been items that i've just listed so 
Yeah, including this two pack of, my goodness, everything's falling. This two pack of water filters, that's why I didn't want to record. I knew it, maybe that's why, maybe I shouldn't record. That's a sign, you shouldn't have recorded. But this is a, a two pack of water filters, that, two pack of water filters that got sold. Oh my goodness, they sold for $33.33. The buyer did pay $4.99 to get his item shit to him. I have $5 into it and you really can't beat that. I'm gonna profit well over 20 something dollars, 23, $24, something around that after shipping and everything. Then we're gonna have this LME whitening cream, which we've seen a bunch of times on the channel. This item sold for $9.99 and we do know this is a fill a bag day item. Fill a bag day item. Gonna profit around $5 on the item when it's all said and done. Next item we're gonna have is gonna be one of these microphones. I found this microphone at Carolina Ben Store for five dollars. As soon as I saw it, I grabbed it because remember I just sold a bunch of them recently, back to back to back. So grab this one. This was all black and it sold probably in like two or three days. Yeah, this was sold in like two or three days, I believe. This item didn't sell immediately. It sold like in like two or three days. Anyways, thirty dollars is what it sold for. Five dollars into it. You do the calculations. Free shipping for the buyer. I think this fits in a flat rate envelope too, to be honest. The next item that we're gonna have sold is gonna be this Weber grill cover that I found on a $5 day at Ben Time or Carolina, but I don't know. I found it and it sold for $5. Uh, it's, I found it for $5 and it sold for $40. And the buyer did pay $7.99 to get this item shipped, for, shipped out to them. And that's crazy. Uh, I just sold one of these recently for like $36 and I think I paid shipping. But this time I switched it up and I made them pay shipping and I charged $40. So yeah, that was a good idea that I did. I'm glad I switched it up. After what's all said and done, I'm gonna profit probably like around $30, you know? And then guys, wow, finally, eBay decided to put my uh, item up in the buy box or whatever you want to call it. Cause I sold two Wart removers to two separate buyers. And I've had these items for all a turn. I've had these items so long that when I see them on fill a bag day, I just bypass them. I haven't sold much, much of them at all. So these sold for $6.50 to two separate buyers. Free shipping for these buyers. Probably only gonna earn $3 a piece on these, but still, I mean, I had like 30 or 40 packs and they were just like sitting. So finally they're starting to sell. So that's, that's a good thing, that's a good thing. Then the next item we're gonna have that got sold is going to be this net gear. AC3000 Tri-Band Nighthawk. This item sold for $120. I took a best offer for $120. I think I was trying to charge for like $130, I believe. Buyer did pay $8.99 to get this item shipped to him. I got this item at Carolina Ben Store this past week for $5 on their $5 day. Can't beat that. Or maybe I got it at, no, I'm lying. I got this at Ben Time. I got this at Ben Time, guys. I got this at Ben Time this past week. Oh no, I got this at Carolina Ben Store Friday. Yes, I got this at Carolina Ben Store Friday. Definitely Carolina Ben Store Friday. Uh, sold for $120, guys. Probably could have got a little bit more for it, but I wanted that quick little $100, $100 or whatever profit is gonna be like around what? Yeah, about a $100 profit. So for $120, and the buyer paid shipping, so I should probably like around $100 or something. Yeah, can't beat that at all for an item that I have $5 into. Another item that I found on a fill of bag days is gonna be this Joy Superfoods. This item sold for $17.47. Free shipping for the buyer. Gonna profit like around, I was about to say $5, we'll probably way more than $5. Gonna profit like around $8, $10 on this item when it's all said and done. This item we're gonna have sold is gonna be this KFI products. I've seen this item get sold before, sold for $12.22. Free shipping for the buyer. Probably gonna profit like around $6 on that item when it's all said and done. Then we're going to have this two pack of water filters. I almost put these back. I'm talking about I almost put these back. Went to the opening station, saw what they were, and I was like, ah, I don't even know. I almost put them back, guys, but I'm glad I didn't because they sold immediately. I'm talking about as soon as I listed them, they sold for $29, I paid $5 for them. So I'm probably gonna profit like around $18 on them when it's all said and done after I get it shipped out. Then we're gonna have this Nintendo Switch Ambio or Amibio, yeah, Ambio, I think that's what it's called, Ambio. The yeah, Ambio Pokemon Squirtle Super Smash Brother series. This item's over $14.88. Buyer did pay $2.99 to get this item shipped. Probably gonna cost them like around $4 to get it shipped. 
but I'm still gonna profit probably $8 on this item when it's all said and done. You can't beat that. I thought about keeping it because I like actually like Squirtle. Thought about putting them with my little collection of randomness, but yeah, I didn't. Should've. If, maybe if that was a little bit better, I would've kept it. Next time we're gonna have is gonna be this Limb Saver Air Tech, the end of the gun, gun butt for shotguns or rifles, whatever you wanna call it. But this uh, item sold for $30 and the buyer paid $3.99. This is the first time that one of these actually sold for my asking price. Usually I take best offers on these items, which usually end up being like around $25 or $28 or so, but yeah, this was sold for full asking price. Nobody sent me an offer, so that's what's up. Got this item at in Columbia Dream Deals. I remember that specifically because I got a bunch of them and I'm glad they're all starting to sell. Like recently they've been selling, so that's a good thing. Profit, $20. We're gonna say we're gonna profit $20 on that item. Next, we're gonna have another fill a bag day item. It's gonna be this Cisco two port phone adapter. This item sold for $26, yes, $26. The buyer did pay $5.49 to ship. I've had this item forever and I think it's because, again, the shipping. The shipping really plays a role in what I see because I mean, I've tested the market sometimes and I don't know. I just think shipping really holds up products longer than they should be. Just my opinion, probably facts, but I'm gonna say it's my opinion because I know y'all will kill me in the comment section. Uh, anyways, that's the first time I said comment section and didn't say description, so what? Well, Making progress on YouTube. Now if I can stop being nervous on camera, we can do a little bit better. But anyways, this item sold for $26. Gonna profit well over $20 on this item. It's Cause it's a fill a bag to Adam. You can't beat that. And then finally, and I didn't forget because normally I usually forget my all my Macari orders and y'all don't think I be making Macari sales, but I make way more Macari sales than I let, I probably show y'all. Well, not way more, but I make Macari sales. But this little bag of Hunt gummy gummy bear resin thing. I don't I don't know. I, I don't know. I guess they're for like designing do-it-yourself things. I mean, I really don't know. I don't want to I don't know. I found a bunch of them on the fill of bag day. I put all of them on Macari because I just, it was just easier to list what it was and I really didn't know what they were. So I just put all of them on Macari and a bag sold. What did a bag sell for? I don't know. I'm gonna have to literally look here and find out. And while I look and find out and tell you and exaggerate a little bit while I'm looking. I officially start putting a lot more items on Facebook Marketplace. I did order a pallet and I put everything, a lot of stuff on Facebook Marketplace. So I think I'm gonna start cross-listing a lot of stuff on Marketplace, especially baby stuff because I hear good things about it, especially when I go clean my storage building as well. But anyways, and also I wanna put together a mystery box of like, for like a subscriber. Yeah, I'm gonna put a, together like a, a $75 mystery box. If anybody wants that, leave me a comment in the comment section and I'll, I'll find one of you to give it to. It's gonna be probably the best mystery box I've ever put together. I'm trying to liquidate, and that's what I do when I liquidate. So anyways, this item sold for $8. I found it, sold for $8. The buyer did pay shipping. You can find out exactly all my profits. I think my profit is like seven, six dollars on this item. Yeah, my profit is $6.67 on this item. And that's gonna be it for the What Sold video. This is a long What Sold video, I'm so sorry about that but we had 30 something items to get sold. So that's a good thing as well. Somebody just sent me an offer on something. I wish they would have said that a little bit earlier and I just missed 111. Normally I catch it, but mm, 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 it is what it is. Hey, anyways guys, rambling. I have to pack all these orders up and I need to clean my house. It's been a, it's a disaster right now. Getting a pallet and then listing over 70 or 80 items is not, it's fun, but it's not. It's not fun. I just, I don't, it's not fun. It's really not. But anyways, guys, thanks for like sharing and subscribing, even though majority of you won't do none of that, but it doesn't matter guys. Thank you for watching the channel. That's what really kind of matters too. So anyways, guys, make sure that you bless somebody today. Cause I promise you I'm going to bless somebody tomorrow at this point in time. Your boy Tay, your boy Tay, your boy Tay is out.